Howdy, everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner, brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. First, folks, here's an interesting question. Do you feel that you need a change from the usual breakfast, tea, and coffee? The usual milk? I know my family does. It's like everything else, you get tired of too much of the same thing. There are many who can't drink milk or coffee either. Doesn't agree with them. Well, here's something that a lot of people are doing today. They're drinking Horlick's malted milk for breakfast. Besides being a welcome and delicious change, it makes an exceptionally fine beverage at this time of year. Your whole family needs the vitamins, the bodybuilding elements, the good nourishment that it contains. For this is spring, you know, the season of severe but unexpected colds. You need to keep your body in good condition. That's why we urge you to drink Horlicks. It's a great success as a food drink for breakfast. You can prepare it at the table in a minute simply by adding sufficient hot water and mixing well to bring out the delicious aroma. You can get Horlicks at your druggist's in either natural or chocolate flavor. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, since Lum and Abner have taken over the management of their circus business, the business has improved. But their troubles have just begun. Yesterday, they discovered that the safe had been robbed, and the entire receipts from the preceding day were stolen. As we look in on the old fellows today, we find Lum and Squire Skimp in the wagon that serves as their office and headquarters. Evidently, from their conversation, the disappearance of the money is still a mystery. Listen. Well, I'm just as anxious to find it as you are, Lum. I don't want you fellas thinking that I took it. Well, I ain't choosing nobody. All I know, I put the money in the safe night before last, and you was in here yesterday when I went to get it out and we found it gone. Yes, but now that's no sign that I got it. Well, me and you and Abner is the only ones that knows the combination on that safe. And you know me and Abner ain't going to steal nothing from ourselves. Well, that's just the reason that I'm anxious to get the thing cleared up. Naturally, you and Abner suspicion me, Lum. I know that. But on my word of honor, I have no in that safe since you and Abner joined the circus and took charge of the money end of it. I've done a lot of honorary things in my time, Lum. I'll admit that. But this is one thing that I'm not guilty of. Yeah. I can't help but believe you're telling me the truth, Squire, but I'll try on I... You ain't bad about walking in your sleep, are you, Squire? Uh, walking in my sleep? Yeah, I just thought you, you might have walked over here in your sleep and took the money out of the safe unbeknownst to yourself, even. Well, you and Abner's been sleeping right here in the wagon, Lum. If I'd have come in here, why, you'd have surely known it. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. The lock on the safe there ain't been tampered with at all, so whoever got the money is bound to know the combination. Yeah, it, it looks like it, sure. Oh, well, where did you get that safe, Lum? Why, it come with the circus when we take a need over. Mm-hmm. Uh, you haven't seen any uh, suspicious-looking characters uh, hanging around the wagon here in the last few days, have you? Uh, no, not that I know of. So what about Cedric? He hangs around the wagon here right smart long. Oh, no, well, it ain't Cedric. I know, no. He's as honest as a day is long. Well, yes, but the uh, young boy that way, he's easily influenced, you know. Somebody else might have put him up to it. In the first place, Cedric don't even know the combination to the same. Couldn't open it if he wanted to. Well, he's been uh, around here, you know, quite a lot. He's uh, seen you and Abner open it, and he might have memorized that combination, Lum. Blow me, Squire. <laughs> Not Cedric, no. He couldn't memorize nothing. I'd just soon tell him what the combination is. He couldn't recollect it long enough to get back here and open it, no way. No. <laughs> and he can't hardly recollect from one day to the next what his name is. Yeah, well, of course, I'm just thinking of all the possibilities. Oh, I'll talk to him, ask him about it, but I know it ain't him. He don't even know what day or what month it is. <laughs> well, in a case like this, Lum, you want to consider everybody guilty. Yeah, they can so. But I know everybody never took it. Uh, what I can't understand is how anybody could have come in here and broke in this wagon and opened that safe and took the money without waking me or Abner one. Well, now, of course, it uh, might have been done in the daytime, Lum. No, no. We always keep the wagon locked up in the daytime unless me or Abner one is right here with it. Or else I leave somebody here with it to watch it for me. Like yesterday morning, I was gone for a few minutes, but I left Zenora's brother here to keep an eye on the safe. Uh, Zenora's brother? Yeah, he ran over here yesterday morning and said Zenora wanted to see me around back of the big top right quick, so I got him to stay here in the wagon. 
I weren't going more than ten minutes. No way. Well, now, I believe we're getting somewhere, huh, mister? Uh, I, I thought that fellow had a pretty shifty eye on him. Yet, uh, uh, Squire, if you're fixing to accuse him, you're just getting off on the wrong track. In the first place, he's Nora's brother and would no more think of stealing than he would have fine. In the second and third place, he don't even know the combination to the three. And we know that whoever took the money did know it. Yes, that's right, so... Well, it looks like it's about let him out, then. Why, well, sure it does. Lum, are you sure that you put the money in the safe night before last? Why, sure I put it in there. You ain't fishing at me, are no, you, No, 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 no. I just thought that you might have hid it someplace else, you know, and forgot about it. No, sir. No, sir. I've got proof that I put the money in the safe right after the show closed, night before last. Well, you say you've got proof. Yes, yeah, sir. Right after the show, Zenora was complaining about being hungry, and I told her I'd take her over town there and buy her something to eat. Mm. But we come by the wagon here first for me to put the money up, on account I didn't want to be packing that much cash on me. And she sat right there in that chair, right there, and seen me open the safe and put the money in the shoebox. And I can prove it by her. Oh, Zenora, then, was in here when you put the money up, huh? Yes, sir, I can prove it by her. Well, um... Uh, wouldn't it have been mighty easy for her to watch you work that combination and then come back here now, later? Now, wait just a minute, Squire. Just stop right where you're at. Don't you start accusing that little woman of having anything to do with this. There's this fine a little woman has ever grown Well, now, love, I ain't saying that she done it. I well, just, just said to leave her name out of it. I can tell you right now, she never had a thing to do with it. Well, all right, love. It's your money. That's the way you feel about it. Why, it's all right with me. Yeah, that's the way I feel about it. Every time anybody's name's been rung up, you've tried to pine suspicions at them, and I'm getting good yeah, and tired of them. What's going on in here? Yeah. Well, come on in, Abner. It's about time you opened up the ticket office, Lon. There's a big crowd gathered around here in front of the tent. There is. Well, I, I expect I better get out there and make my spiel in. Yeah, I'll be around there quick as I get some money out of the safe for change. Well, I'll go ahead and get the crowd gathered in, Lon. All right. Hmm. Yeah, what's the matter with you and Squire? Sound like he's arguing about something. Yeah, he's trying to say Zenora was the one that taken that money out of the safe yesterday. Well, what's your reason for saying that she done it? I ain't never had none. That's what made me so mad. You know, Abner, I, I'm getting sort of suspicious of Squire now. Wow. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe Squire done it. Though. Yeah, he's the only one that knows the combination outside of me and you. And he's got a key to the wagon, too. Yeah, but I, I still don't think it was him. Yeah. What got me more suspicious than ever... I've been cross-examining him here. He has? Cross-examining him. Examining him. And everybody's name that was brung up, he tried to make me think that they was the one that done it. Well, I reckon he's just interested in trying to help them. That's really Yeah, that. but I've been trying cases in my justice of the peace court for a spell of years now. If you don't mind notions on it, when you see a feller pinting his finger at everybody else, accusing him, you better watch out for him. Squire's trying to lay this on everybody else's doorstep except his own. Accusing Zenora. The very idea. Uh, who else did he accuse? Well, he the same as accused me there once. You? I wanted to know if I if I was sure I put the money in there. I ought to got up right then and... Wait a minute. Come here, Cedric. Come here a minute. You ought to got up and done what, Bob? Nothing. I want to talk to Cedric. Squire was accusing him, too. Accusing Cedric? Why, he never done it. I know that. Why, of course not. He don't even know the combination on the safe. Why, no. Where are you going, Cedric? Oh, uh, oh, why, uh... <laughs> I was going, uh, I, I was, <laughs> no place, uh, I don't even know, I was just... Well, uh, come on in here, Teddy, come inside. Yeah, I want to have a little talk with you. Sit down over there. Yeah, sit down, Teddy. Yes, Mom. What do you want to talk about? Uh, Cedric, uh, you might have uh, known of it, but, uh, there was some money took out of the safe here sometime yesterday. Oh, yes, Mom, I know about that, it was four hundred and thirty dollars and seventy cents. Yeah, that's right. That's just what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know who took it or nothing like that, do you? Well, why? Well, of course he don't, Mom. You know what Cedric never took it. Yeah, well, I know the reason you wouldn't know Cedric, but there's another fellow around here that's sort of accusing you of it. I wanted to cross examine you so I could prove to him that you don't know nothing about it. Yeah. Yes, Mom. Well, Mom, um, you just tell Squire that Cedric don't know nothing about it. Just put a stop to that right now. I did accuse him, Cedric. Another thing, Rob, you better get on around there in front and folks will be wanting to buy a ticket and can't get in the show. Yeah, well, I got to get my tickets and change together here. Uh, run around in front there, Abner, and tell Squire to keep his spiel going till I get there. Yeah, well, you hurry up, old. He can't talk all day. Oh, no, I'll be there directly. Yeah, let's see. I got to get in that safe again. If I can recollect the combination. <laughs> sort of slips my mind. Let's see. He starts here at north. Yes, Mom. 
then round to the right to 70, and back to, back to 20. Yeah, yeah, 20. And then back to 45, I recollect that. <laughs> and then let's see. Uh, back to 70 again. Yeah, that's right, 70, yeah. Yeah, that ought to open. Yeah, that's got it. Let's see, I better take about $20 out for... Wait a minute. Uh, what's the matter, Mr. Lum? It's gone. It's gone again. Look at that. I put $211 in here last night, Cedric. Somebody dropped that safe again. I know. Yeah. What do you know about that? Maybe you can tell us how this money is disappearing. We still have a little time left, folks, and I want to use it to read a letter from a good friend, a doctor in Indiana. He says, I have been practicing medicine for 25 years. Most of those years in a country community where there were many characters like Lum and Abner. I have used Horlick's malted milk for babies for many years and always find it reliable and sure to furnish the proper food for every need of my bottle-fed babies. We in our family also use a lot of Horlick's malted milk, as described by Carlton Brickert, your announcer, and find it just as he describes. Although, for that matter, we had been using it for many years before he became a radio announcer. Yes, many years before anyone ever dreamed or heard of radio. End of quote. Well, thank you, Doctor, for your letter. Your reference to using Horlicks many years ago is especially interesting. Every day we get an amazing number of letters from folks brought up on Horlicks many, many years ago. Then, as now, it is the great American food drink for all ages. You can get it, you know, at your druggist in either natural or chocolate flavor. This is Carlton Bricker, speaking for Lum and Abner and Harley, who now bid you all good night and good health.